Okay, what's up? If you have been blessed with one of these beautiful stainless steel dishwashers and you think you should never have to have dishes that aren't in there getting clean, but they're in the sink, uh, you're at the right place. So these things leak. Um, this thing's probably two years old. First leak that we had on it was from this screw right here. So yours probably not going to look like this. You're going to pull it out underneath your counter. Very easy to pull out. There's two screws here. And here they screw up, up into wood or some sort of trim panel up there. And then that's it. You can look around. Yours might have some on the side, but this model doesn't. I think the ones with the buttons on top, which make a lot more sense because we always bump these and they turn on and that's annoying. I think the ones with the buttons on top actually have tabs on the side, so you unscrew those also. But once these two are unscrewed, the whole thing just slides out. And you're either going to know that you had a leak um, because you're going to get a sensor on here. The normal, the normal light will, will blink and it won't run through the cycle. And that's basically meaning you have a low water supply, so you're low, low flow, or you have a leak somewhere. Um, or you're going to know you have a leak because you get a bug problem like we got. So there's an insulation blanket that goes over this to keep it warm for efficiency, which is good. But these things have an inherent problem with leaking right out of here. There's two little rubber O-rings that are in there and for whatever reason it, it wasn't tight and it leaks and then you have this blanket so you have hot water, you have moisture and then you have a cozy place. And we literally have to have uh, pest control now come once a month because it all started with a leaky screw. That might be your first leak. You have to take off your blanket and fix that. To fix that, uh, your, your guess is best as mine. I took it off, uh, put new little rubber grommet on there. I actually had to sand down, to smooth down the washer so it would seal better on that rubber grommet. Finally stopped leaking there, put it back in, and then actually once we put it back in, that's when we got the sensor. It leaking here never gave us the, the warning that we got um, right here. This warning came, I'm like, low flow, what's going on? Water supply is fine. I pull the thing out, pull it all the way out, it's real easy check my water supply, so it's unplugged now. Um, we run it and it stops and we run it and then I'm looking under here with the flashlight, just looking through here while it's running and then looking on this side through here while it's running and we're seeing a little drip back there. And I'm also seeing a lot of standing water in the middle which is, isn't good, you don't want any standing water uh, on your dishwasher, you have a problem and soon to be maybe a bug problem if you have standing water. Um, so I see the drip back there and that's the first thing I'm going to fix. And to get to that drip, uh, I come to the conclusion. It's this little thing, which is out now. But it's right here. It's the, it's the water supply. Uh, what's it called? The water supply inlet valve. So this shut, turns on and off when it needs water for the dishwasher because your water supply comes into here, right? So your water supply is hooked up like this, down right there, threaded onto this thing, okay? So that water supply is, is constant. You have to turn off your water under your sink, otherwise water will shoot out of that. This thing turns on and off when the dishwasher needs it. It's an on-demand kind of water supply thing. Um, this is what was leaking that we can see through the side that I showed you. It was dripping just right from the middle. So to get to get to this, you have to turn off the water under your sink, the hot water, hot water valve, shut that off, unscrew this. If that has water coming out, you didn't shut that off. And then to get this out, it's two screws on it, right? But then to actually get to it, you have to take off this bottom panel. So this isn't too difficult. Um, bottom panel, can't quite remember how it goes, has tabs here, here, four tabs. You push in on those, it's either like this or it's the other way. Push in on those tabs and then there's also in front, see that panel, that black panel? That we took off right here. Underneath this flap, that's where all your bugs live and all your bug juice and all their poop. Take that flap off and then there's screws 
right down there holding that holding that plastic tray on right down there there's actually mine was missing them mine had one in the middle See that screw that screw hole there's no screw there there's one there i think there's one on both sides take those off and then your panel this panel will be free it's actually one screw that's it right there then you go back over you tip your thing back over Yep, yep, just like that. Your beautiful stainless steel dishwasher. Tip that back over. Take those screws out, and then you'll be able to get that bottom panel off. And then you go to the store to find this, and it's back ordered. You can get it in like two weeks. Supply chain. Um, you can find it online, 60 something dollars. I haven't confirmed this yet. I picked up this one, I think it's exactly the same. I think this was made for a Samsung washing machine. Um, I'll probably, I'll leave a link in the description, either Amazon or eBay or something, so I can make so much money off you guys clicking it. Um, but I think this should work, and if it doesn't, I will let you know uh, in the comments or somewhere, hopefully. But everything's the same on it except for the orientation, which isn't a problem. So that one goes in sideways, this one goes in like this. but. I checked and it clears, so basically it's gonna go back in, either like that, where these prongs are out, or the other way, I'm, I haven't decided yet, probably like this, so they're on the inside. And then that plastic cover will still fit there. Oh yeah, so when you take this off, there, here's the hose that goes to it, this black hose. There's a hose clamp on there, you have to pull it off. So you wanna check your hose clamp, or your hose, because your hose could be leaking. All you do is you pinch it. See if there's any cracks in it. So you pinch it and see if, if there's any cracks in it. It's probably not leaking from there. Check that. Um, and then there's also two wires going to be plugged into it. These, these two wires. Take a picture so you know which orientation, which one goes where, the top and the bottom. It might not matter, but I like to take pictures. <sighs> and then this is actually a connector also that is connected to this so this bottom panel you'll take it off and then it's dangling and all you have to do is pull the connector pull the connector off of that that is this okay so now it's all apart i'm going to put this piece back in hook the hose back up to it plug in those two connectors put the screws in on this side and that'll be all mounted i'm going to hook my water supply line back up to that um i'm going to lay this thing flat i might have to hook this back up i'm not sure lay this thing flat run it see if it's leaking if it's still leaking, well, it probably won't be from this because that's brand new. Uh, but if this doesn't work, it'll probably give me a warning or we won't get hot water or there'll be some signs that this isn't going to work. But if this doesn't work, of course, you can always just buy the same one for $60. Um, I think that is it. Yep. And then put everything back together, put the bottom back on, go on the front, on the bottom where I showed you, put that screw back in to hold the plastic plastic thing back here on and then you've got this plastic cover that goes on front and you lose your screws on your counter that you can't see them on and then yeah that's it sum up like a thank you bye